And just like that, here we go then, at the Bob Lucas Stadium, the first ball out wide to Brandon Goodship, who goes back to Leo Hamlin, his first ball into Charlie Rowan, over the top, looks for Parsons, still bouncing around, Brandon Goodship comes flying forwards, away by Genesini. Charlie Cooper then, crosses this one in, away by Charlie Rowan, it may drop to Wannell. Wannell spreads it out wide to Noble, just on the edge of the box now is Frank Noble. Drops it off to Cooper, Cooper... About halfway inside the Weymouth half, gets his cross and again looks for Williams. Williams with a free header but unable to take his chance. Ghosted in really behind the terrace back line. Bit of a half chance there for Williams. He was always trying to rise and head it down. It never looked like he was going to. That one not really troubling Wiles Richards but definitely a dangerous chance there for Yeoman early on. Nothing given. Rowan deems to have not broken the rules on that respect. Teddy Howell then goes short from this free kick into Parsons. Parsons... Still twisting and turning, skips away in the middle of the park now. Gives it up wide to Leo Hamblin, who has a bit of space to work with now. Weymouth trying to dominate the midfield. Good ship. The ball through to Roberts is good. Roberts is touch even better. Plays it out to Rollinson. Rollinson now onto his right foot. Gets his cross in towards Charlie Rowan. It's gone all the way through. Cleared away though by Genesini. Now Hamblin doing really well to win it back and pick out Goodship. Weymouth really trying to keep the pressure on here as Hamlin will work hard to get on the overlap. Goodship cuts in, now picks out Parsons. Parsons trying to work his magic, hits the byline. Parsons across goal away by Worthington. Hamlin heads back in field. Goodship takes a touch, lays it off. Bearwish blocked away by Charlie Cooper. Ball in towards Charlie Rowan. Rowan heads on! Brilliant save. Right, Joe Day got down to his left. First shot on target then for the Terrors early on. What a start to the game that would have been for Charlie Rowan. Just manages to rise above everyone else, got the slightest of touches to direct it at goal. Thompson climbs tallest, but now Young lays it off to Noble. Tom Bearish battling in there. Panther, now Young. Young hits the floor, no penalty given. Weymouth now looking to go quickly. Harry Parsons towards Brandon Goodship. Morgan Williams comes sliding in and knocks that one out of play. Controversy already then early on in this game. Hamlin driving forwards. Lays it off to Dan Roberts who's come wide for it now. Roberts gets his cross in on his left. All the way out to Rollinson who heads it down. Looks for the path for Charlie Rowan. Rowan again. Noble comes absolutely flying in. No intention to play the ball whatsoever. The Yeovil fans complaining. There's no complaints from anyone else there. Rowan got there first. Noble flew in. It's Leo Hamlin from the free kick. Oh, uh, into the wall. That one will go out of play. You can see why he'd be the one to take it on his left foot to try and whip that one over the wall. But not quite enough on it really to get beyond that lofty four-man wall Yeovil did have there Teddy Howe now into midfield Cooper with a strong challenge Hamlin comes across, doesn't win it Goodship now does win it into the path of Hamlin just inside the Yeovil half Goodship powerful punch pass out wide to Rollinson twisting and turning trying to get on the inside here, does flick on to Roberts, lays it off to Bearwish Bearwish strikes on his left foot on his weak foot, that's not a bad effort there from Tom Bearish. Just couldn't quite catch it enough, sliced it wide. Had that been on his right, you'd almost favour him to at least get a shot on target there. What a goal that would have been from the Terrors. Weymouth really applying the pressure then in this opening half an hour or so. Worthington towards Genesini. Williams just clears his lines. Anywhere will do for them. They're really under pressure here early on. Panther over the halfway line. Hamlin's made the run forward, it's clipped in towards Roberts, Roberts takes it down, Roberts into the box, strikes into the bottom corner, and Dan Roberts has given Weymouth the advantage! The Oval defence stood still, they were absolutely frozen, and there was Dan Roberts with a nice cold finish to give Weymouth the advantage in Derby Day, it's Dan Roberts' day, he missed a chance in the reverse fixture, he made no mistake about it this time, Dan Roberts strikes for the Terrors, it's Weymouth 1, Yeovil 0, Dan Roberts you absolute hero.
32 minutes gone, Dan Roberts received that ball forward from Corey Panther. It's a brilliant spot. Roberts on the turn, strikes into the bottom right corner beyond Jay. The entire Yeovil defence, as I say, stood still like statues. And the coolest man in the stadium, Dan Roberts. The celebrations unrivaled there. And what a way that is to give Weymouth the lead in such a game. Five minutes to go until half time then. Hamlin back to Goodship. Goodship advancing. Looks to play it in towards Parsons. Parsons now twisting and turning. Plays it out wide to Dan Roberts. Roberts in space now. Flashes it across goal all the way through. Straight into the grasp of Joe Day. Thompson misses his header. Now Murphy, his first few touches up against Corey Panther. Thomas picks it up in field now. Gives it to Charlie Cooper. Charlie Rowan comes striding in but Worthington picks it up now Morgan Williams striding forwards has a go from Rage and that one has ballooned out of the stadium maybe a little bit of time wasting from Morgan Williams if they weren't a goal down he's no Joe Cook I'll tell you that Hamden then crosses this one in it's a good ball Rowan meets it Rowan down brilliant save by Day and that's the second time that Rowan has been denied by a good save from Joe Day and a few inches wider and that could have been two. Williams to Worthington who tries to play it forward to Noble. It's a good ball. Noble takes it down. Good challenge from Charlie Rowan. Stays in the challenge. Noble lays it off to Genesini then. Hamden has Genesini to contest with. Ball comes in then all the way through. Cooper with the header. That one over the bar. And that's about Yeovil's biggest chance of the game it was Cooper that was arriving Wiles Richards then it's a low one it's gone straight out of play and there is the half time whistle the Terrace fans in standing ovation to clap their players off it was Dan Roberts goal about halfway through the first half that gave his side the lead Charlie Rowan denied two headers saved by Joe Day unlucky not to be 2-0 really from the Terrors, but lots of work for you over to do in the second half and for Weymouth and Jason Matthews they'll be hoping for more of the same and so it will be Brandon Goodship he's gone low he's dropped for Harry Parsons in the box Parsons still trying to weave his way into a shot Goodship on the edge of the box now gives it to Joel Rollinson and Weymouth may just retreat here Yeah, whips this one in towards Williams across goal still bouncy around where will it drop it drops to Leo Hamlin who clears away what a moment that could be for the Terrors if they were able to keep that one out Joel Rollinson on the far side Brandon Kutchik gives it over to Teddy Howe scramble defensive work there from the Terrors excellent from them Teddy Howe plays the cross field ball looks for Dan Roberts Genesini away straight into the path of Goodship Goodship to Bearwish Bearish now into the box, drops it off to Roberts just outside of it. Roberts trying to get his cross in here, goes all the way through and Cooper takes a touch, manages to clear away but Hamlin steps through superbly. Hamlin, he's going to have a go from range and maybe slightly ambitious there from Leo Hamlin to take the shot on from there. It's a big chance, make no mistake about that. It will be Young, straight into the wall. Cooper lifts it towards Williams. Williams up in the air. Heads on straight into the arms of Harvey Wiles Richards. Young out of the arms. Looks for Noble. Panther loses it. Now Thompson has to get there. He does it. Now Frank Noble round the keeper. He's gone down. He's been given us no penalty. Noble always seems to be looking for it. And that's a tight call at that. So the free kick's gone short to Genesini, who pops one into the box. Williams flicks on away by Hamlin. Out to Cooper, who strikes. And that one, always rising, nowhere near. Harvey Wiles Richards goes out of play for the Weymouth goal kick. 
Bear, which looks like he's struggling a little bit, but that would be a huge loss if he were to come off. We do have Ben Winterburn at our disposal to bring on just in case. Young in towards Noble. On the edge of the box now is Young, clips it in towards Pearson, lays it off to the Noble who strikes, blocked away by Charlie Rowan. That seems to have winded him a bit, but Ezio Torre now will look to try and get away here. Morgan Williams is absolutely all over him. No foul given though, considering the referee's been giving those all game, he's decided not to for once. And it looks as though both sets of players will maybe go back in to see their managers. So it looks as though both sets of players will be going back in and this issue will be dealt with. Thank you so much for joining me up Sarah's.